again folks, uh, this is lesson 61 and as promised in our little chat we had in number 60 uh, I wanted to transfer now onto a subject called composition now before you all nod off with the boredom uh, it, it, it's an important subject and uh, and it, it's it's as well to, to, to have a look at it before you start painting. Now, shortly, or hopefully, we shall be getting outside painting, won't we? And if you've never done it before, try and do it, because it's fantastic. It really is fantastic. So, but we have to be, to be prepared with certain things, like a sketchbook for a start. Now, for, for many years, I, I've carried a pocket sketchbook with me, something like that, so the size of it, about that, that size. And just recording rubbish, really, and, and it, whatever it could be, it could be anything in there, whatever suits my, suits my fancy, just quick sketches and that stuff like that. And that that I, I find useful. But that I also take the larger one with me for, for for more detail work, something like like that. It's it's a bit of a bit bit big to show on screen, but that that's that's quite big. And uh, what what I want to do is is the the main thing I want to say to you is. If you go out, the secret to this is to sketch anything, everything which will improve your skills in capturing the, the moment with a few well-chosen lines. It's as simple as that. Don't worry about whether it, it will form a basic of a, a masterpiece or a painting. You'll find that you can use a simple sketch and the subject and incorporate it into a more detailed work. It could be a boat or I sketch, I guess, cars, motorbikes. Shops, animals, clouds, boats, mountains, rivers, estuaries, castles, churches, cafes, people, markets, airports, harbours, beaches, anything. I sketch all sorts. And it's endless. And whatever you, whatever you like to choose to sketch. I must admit that I, I, I've not used everything because it's uh, it, I've done too many books. Uh, uh, dozens of books on, on sketching and that. But sometimes I pop into them and when I'm stuck for a painting, I think, oh yes, that, that, that'll, in, that'll enlarge that, that'll make that better. Uh, and of course, when you look through your sketchbook, it immediately brings back the time you were there and, and the, 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 the place it was and where it was in the world. And it, 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 it's a little, it brings back happy memories for you. Right, I said the sketchbooks come in, in various shapes and sizes, and it's down to personal preference what, what size you choose. I tend to go for a, 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 a piece of paper on, on each sheet, less than, not less than 90 pounds weight and a medium texture. If intended in very fine detail work, I'd recommend that you use something a bit smoother. Uh, I, f I find a, a spiral bound book best because they fall back on themselves and when laying flat, it's easy to work upon. And that's if the subject warrants to sort of using both sides of the picture. I mean, like, like this this one here, this this sketchbook. It's just got a, a spire on the end there, uh, and I can what I can do is, is open it up right across the thing, sort of like that, and I could I could paint right across the two two sheets. In fact, there's probably one in here somewhere, but uh, I don't know if I can find it. I don't know, no. but but uh, anyway, I'll have a look in this 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 sketchbook with you. We'll have a little chat on it. So, and pencil, you need, you need a pencil, of course, don't you? Now, I said th this is a lot, a lot of the, the sort of information for beginners because a lot of your experienced people will, 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 will have nodded off by now, but uh, uh, pencils are manufactured in, in degrees of hardness and it's denoted by the prefix H. If it's H, it's hard and it's difficult to work with. And if you, it's always better to prefer the softer range, which, which is denoted by we, B. Sorry, I don't like why it's B. H for hard and, and B for soft is, uh, well, is that? S, S would be a better word, but not to worry. That's not my, that's not my problem. My personal choice are about the 4B and an 8B. The 4B being nice and soft, but the 8B being really soft. And I can, I can fiddle in the areas quickly with it. Uh, it, it, and... It's it's just it's fleeting shadows and dark areas. The the higher B number you can use it beautifully for that. I mean the the pencil that I use a lot or the pen as you say pencil it's just, it's a pencil. It's a beast. This is it's a it's a it's a it's, it's got a, a claw thing on it, and the lead comes out like that on it, and that's that's pure lead and or graphite or whatever they call it. 
and whatever suits it, I can just sharpen the end again, and off I go. And that I can't fiddle with that because it, it, the point is too heavy and too big, so I can't fiddle. Thank goodness, because we're all all guilty of fiddling, you know. Now pens, you can get a nice pen, and, and that that will will give you some nice nicer pictures. That, uh, sort of a pen and to do a pen and wash with. Uh, if you find that uh, waterproof ink type things, and in fact, amongst these sketchbooks, I'll probably have some uh, pen and wash uh, idea, which which I'll, 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 I'll show you. I'll go through them with you. And let's see where we're going. But that, uh, if you can try to, this lovely, it's a lovely method of recording uh, that you choose to be able to sufficiently weight not to ripple. That's when you're going to sort of paint it with with water, watercolor paper after watercolor after. And uh, you try your washes, and, that, and if, if it's, it wants to be over 90 pounds, it'll, it'll ruckle over all over the place. You don't want that. Now, erasers. Uh, I, I use a, a sort of a, a, an eraser, which is just, it, com it comes like in, in a packet like that thing. Uh, it's a, an, a medium putty rubber, that is. And it, uh, and it, when, when you pull it out, it, it, it can shape like that. See, it, it started in there, but... And I use it, you know, put it in all shapes and things like that, and use twiddly bits just to get a nice, a nice bit of light out of an area I've done too dark, stuff like that. And I find them very handy, that's useful. Uh, now, getting into with planning your sketch, that, that's the next problem you're going to have. And uh, one of the things you, you have is you, you've got all your gear with you as you go outside, and you, you're full of, full of enthusiasm. And, uh, and and then you have to find out what what, what you're looking for. And so you, you've got to consider some some basic points on, on 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 this. And the basic points are the first thing you've got to ask yourself <coughs> is you 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 sat out there or stood out there looking around with your sketchbook and that. And the first thing is why why am I why am I sketching it? Why do I want to sketch it? And and the the, the, if you can answer that, you've got to answer that. And you, you, if you say it's, it's, oh, it's, it's a lovely scene, that with all, all trees and things like that. But it's nice, but, but, but there's got to be a reason what, what made you choose that, choose that picture. And it's it probably, in the end, your mind will come onto an item which, it, which is more important than others. It could, be, it could be a church, or it could be a particular shadow on a building, or it could be a, a wall or, or a gate or something like that. Whatever it is, make that your important item, and all the stuff that round it, make it subordinate to it. And then, then what will happen is the piece you've chosen will stand out and it'll glow. That's the main thing. Now, uh, composition. Now, composition is, is the oh, where to where to put stuff. Now, now you can you can you can sit there and things like that and, and wonder what's going off. And uh, you think, well, where, where, where do, where's the edge of my paper, and what do I put in, and what do I leave out, and and in the end, you 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 become totally confused. And, and what what I like, I mean, it might sound crackers, but uh, is if I'm if I'm going out on on on, on site and that, I, I look around and I, and I, I, first of all, I make various sketches. <laughs> Thumbnail sketches, I'll, I'll show you what I mean, there's a thumbnail sketch. If you've got a pen like this, you, you've got, let's have a look, see if I've got any. Yeah, I've made one or two earlier here, like this. Now these are the thumbnail sketches, now that's, that's you, you see, I, I mean, there's no detail at all on that, but it looks like, I look, as I can see, there's a church there and a bit of a hillside and a bit of a foreground here, a nice cloud just there. In this one, it looks like a, a, a sort of road going in, it's a long time since I've done these, and, and uh, some, something like that, and then a bit of a, a gateway there, and another cloud over there. And on the bottom one here, it looks like that the, the house there, which looks like the main subject. The, there's a road leading to it, and things like that. So I, I've I've just done. They take about two minutes then, and it might be might be sort of looking from one side, or looking from the other side, or looking from to the right or the to left, and there'll be three pictures there. Now, you're then in the comfort zone of thinking, well, I think I prefer that one to that one. And that one was your original choice. 
But when you look at that, you think, oh, oh that, that might can, uh, make a nicer picture. So then you turn your chair around, or if you're standing, turn your easel around, and face, face that way, and do that one, okay? That's, that's the beauty of, of doing little sketches like that. Uh, now, what I want to also do with you is, is, I'll pull it out of the way for a minute, is when, you, when you're doing any subject, I'll, I'll draw a piece of paper. That's our piece of paper. And in our mind, what we do, I mean, don't put lines on your paper, but it wants to be sectioned into thirds. That's a one, two there, and one, two there, something like that. And then you've got, imagine a line across there, and a line across there, a line down there, and a line down there. Now, I'm not waddly lines, don't worry about that. But this this is, is based on, on the, what they call the golden section. I mean, that, that's going to, into real detail. But as beginners, you don't want to know anything about that. All you want to know is, this is your piece of paper. There's a rough area where you want to look at. And the important items you, you've, you've chosen, whether it's a house or, or a church or whatever, wants to be put on one of these points here. One, two, three, or four. Not in the middle, whatever you do. Put it in the middle, then when you put it into your local exhibition, other people just say, oh, what the heck's that? There's nowhere for the, the viewer to go in your painting. So let, let, let's say it was, a, it was a church or something. Uh, I mean, uh, church is it, 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 nice, and you probably put it on, the, on this piece here, like that, it, whatever it is. I mean, I'm not, but this is this is just a sort of rough idea what it, what it is. But the, the main focal point is your church there, and you can, you can put a, a road leading leading up to it, something, something like that. Which, which, that's all taking the eye to our, our focal point there. I mean, you can also put. Uh, the the the, the way to that and there'll be some hills there and some like that and stuff like that and so the light is coming from the the left so this right hand side of the church will be will be in darkness like that so this will be in, in sunshine and that and you'll get shadows across here and there might 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 be one or two trees about okay and they might what I do with that in fact this 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 particular picture has got it like that uh, I, it, it it's in unbalanced so I need and what I need is is a, a cloud around here to balance that picture probably a dark cloud there see and now that'll balance that picture out. and i've used that third there for my focal point and when your viewers look at your picture and say wow this path will lead the eye to your focal point then i'll be looking at that and they'll think wow look at that and, and they start looking all over your painting that's that's a, that's a secret of doing that I, if there's any questions you'll, you'll have to let me know on this now, the, the secret is leave out as much detail as possible. This will only make the, your, your sketch confusing. Uh, don't don't try and include all, all the bells and whistles and that. Uh, you'll do disappoint in your effort and, and not even contribute worthy of a picture. Light and shade, as I say, the the main thing is choose which direction your light is coming from. In this in this case, we, we've chosen here, haven't we? Which is important, but. If, if, if I'm, to give you a, a bit of an example of experience, if I'm out sketching, and I've decided what, what view I'm going to do, the, the uh, I, I tend to, where the sunlight is, I, I tend to wait until the, the shadows are in the position where I want them to be. Now, I can't stop time, I can't do anything like that, but what I do in a case like that, so say, let's say I'll, I'll do it just here, a small thing, in fact, let's tell with the expense of a new piece of paper. And if I, if I said, uh, I was painting this, this, that church again, it, it could be like this and something like that and 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 something like that, whatever it is like that. I, I, and the, the, sometimes the, the, the lighting on it can be flat. It can be flat and everything is boring. Now, now, the thing is, is to wait until the, 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 the the sun comes to an interesting position where you think it's, it's going to make a nice picture. That's it. And and then, I mean, carry on with your sketching and your drawing and all that and do your twiddly bit and your trees and things like this and, and what have you. But then, uh, when you come to sort of the, the, the lighting and the shadows and that, this is important. Now, I, I think that would be nice to wait until the, the sun comes round a bit 
and, and comes and comes shining on this side here and cast the shadows on that and that. So we'll wait till it comes and then what we'll have is, is this piece here of the church. I'll put a little sticky up bits on. We'll be in deep shadow, won't it? Cast a shadow across there, of course. And this end will also be in shade. So um, immediately now, you, 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 your church is taking on more interest because you've, you've decided where the light's coming from. And it's wow, he's got that, that factor that the eye is drawn straight to it, whereas before it was bland and all that. And of course, the same applies to the, the, the trees around it and that. You, you make them the same. You emphasize where the, the, uh, all the color is and what else. Right. And what I also do is, you, it might sound ridiculous, well, when I do sketches, I, I, I have a, sometimes have a, a, a reference of what colour it was at the time, because I'm painting, in, in, I'm sketching in black and white, don't forget. And uh, and if I've got something like that with some hills behind it, whatever, and of course the, 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 the path leading up to the church, that'd be nice. Uh, but the thing is, that church, as I've drawn it there, purely by accident, it's come on the thirds, hasn't it? It's there, round there. That's what I mean to tell you, on your third, it's there. It's not there. But uh, the thing is, when you're when you sketching and that, and, uh, light and shade, that's important to you, and then emphasize the difference. So you'll get a shadow down here as well, like that. So, but color notes, what you can do is, uh, if, if, you, if you can't remember, I mean, I used to write on the, the sheet opposite, you know, uh, sky, I want to, uh, winds are blue. And because I, I know do your beers, it was blue, and uh, burnt umber, mixed as a mix, and then the highlighting sky, I put sienna. But by the time we've done all these colours all over the picture, it's a bit confusing. So if you know your palette, oh, I mean, I'll, I'll show you my palette if I can. The palette there, my, my, my palette there, it's in a state, I know, but, but I know where the colours are. I could say that's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And I, I could mark on the sketch. Oh, that's, that's that's number number seven and number eight mixed together, or something like that, or, or whatever. Well, this is number three, and and that is less confusing or, or and less flappy than than doing all these full full limbs and things like that. So that, that, that's another way of doing it. But an, another thing is, is uh, what I haven't come across come to you now, which is, which, is, which is most important. When you sit down, you think, where, where's the edge of my paper? You know, when you sat in front of a, a vast sky, there's no end to it, and it goes on forever all around you. So you, you don't know where to end it on the paper. And I find it a useful thing, which, uh, you know, I've got with me, all the time and it's so simple to use and I'll show you what it is now when I look at a, a picture I put my thumbs together like that and, and I've, I've got my eyes behind it obviously and I'll, I'll go like that now when I go like that that church virtually fills the screen doesn't it but if I go like this You can see, I can't see my hands now, but, but the, the, the church and that has gone into the distance. So then I've got to decide where the church is. Do I move my hand across there? Or do I move them back again? Do I move the horizon line lower down? Or do I move it up again? And that, that is a useful square there, which you can use to find the edge of your paper and find out where, the, where you want to put your, your, your line over the horizon. I mean, sometimes with these, these uh, scenes like this, a nice, a nice big sky is, is, a, is a beautiful thing. That, that, that's another way to do it. I'm going to try to press on with this. Uh, and, and also, as I say, sketch from different viewpoints. So, so as I've said just here, uh, that the, you might be looking there, then looking at that direction and that direction, and find out that that's much better than, than that one or that one. Or... In your mind, that might be better than that and then that one. 
So, but the thing is, you, you, you've had a selection, you've had a choice. You're not just sat there with a chair, with a paint out, and, and looking at this one. You, you, you come back, and you, you'll be disappointed if you do that because you'll think, oh, that's it, it's all right. Yeah. But the thing is, if you see some kind of a, a, a light area with the, with the dark behind it and that, it'll, 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 it'll excite you, and you, you'll, 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 you'll do a better painting with that there. Uh, and when I uh, when I, I, I turn the, the these sketches, some sketches finally turn. They're not all turned into painted, but when they do, uh, you, you, there's, the chances are that you, you'll be delighted at how much work you work will improve by doing this sort of thing. And and if and if you see see one little sketch you've done, and and it, your hair's on your back of your next hand up, that's the one. Pick that because you'll know it's a winner. I mean, I, I, I hold many residential painting breaks from home in Norfolk, and we sketch and paint many pictures. But above all, the desire is to have fun. That's it. We've got to have fun. That's what it's all about. Now, what, what I want to try and do now, I'll, 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 I'll sit through one of these, one or two of these, uh, what was this, where have I got here? I don't know. I'll select through one or two of these books I've got and, and see if we can find any, any examples of what I've, what I've been talking about. I mean, I talk all day, but, but it's, it's not going to solve the problem, is it? So, let's have a look. I mean, th this is just a, uh, let's say, I've, I've, I've pen, put a pen, a paper in one or two pages that I want. Now, as I, as I mentioned, if your sketchbook is not big enough and you've got a spiral bound book, what you can do, you paint across the sky, spiral, and put your, your sketch in like that. So it, it, it the, fit, the picture is there, and it's busy. And I put a note here towards Yarmouth from Loistoft, uh, 6:20 p.m. And, and, and just a little note for me. That's all it is. And let's say, say this one. You see, this one, and, and, and on the, the river Thurn. There's there's a pub at the end called the called the, uh, the the Lion Inn. That that's that pub, and, and you know I, I, I sat there by the, the here's the water down here, and I sat there I thought, oh, and you said sketching that way. I turned around and there was the pub. It was lit just there. I thought wow, and I, I quickly sketched it out like that, concentrated on that piece there. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it all right? Yeah, and. Uh, Concentrate on that piece there, and of course, surround it by darks around the pub. It's a little bit dark here, making that stand out more. And there's the woodland and, and more trees here. And there's a, this is the, the, the river, this is where the moor, the boats and stuff like that. And perhaps if, if I was doing that as a painting, what I might do, I might also slip, slip in a bit of a, a yacht in here, just to give it a bit of height there, like that sort of thing. But the thing is, I've got a basis there for a decent picture. And with all this greenery around like that, and sort of perhaps reflections in the water here from that greenery, from that tree, and that lovely sunlight on there, and dappled light on there, I, I, I think it would, would make a nice picture. I might be wrong, but it's it's one that would inspire me to have a go at. And I'd, I'd forgotten all about that, but as I were getting sketchbooks out, I thought, well, I'd better have a look and see if there's anything anything that might, might inspire you, you know. But... Uh, you know, I just get all sorts in these things. It, it can be all or nothing or something. I don't even know what that is. So what is it? Oh, it's a, it's a bit. It's a Thames barge. If you can see it now. Right. Okay. Oh, cows and, and people and what's it? A anything. Doesn't matter where it is. A little village there. Now this, take this. You see, this I did, I did with a with a pen. Just a quick quick sketch. Now this is a place called Morton Key. This is where I'm sat. And if I look that way, uh, I've got all all the, the the estuary there with the boats and stuff like that. But if I turn round, which I did do in this case, and I thought, well, that's nice. There's, there's an old boat here. And there's a, a bit of a yacht there and, and, and something twiddly bits around here. 
and and in the distance I've got Blakeney Church. Now Blakeney Church is is unused. It's got, it's got two tower two towers like that, and the hillside comes down here, and the village of Blakeney is about here like that, and the, this bank comes down here, and down this area, and we can do it to water areas like the reflecting the light into that, and make it a nice picture. That's that. So you see the lights coming from that side. So I've shattered that, shattered that side there, shattered the side of the church and all that, and we know exactly where we stand on that. So that's, I've got all the reference I need to make it into a decent picture. And I've also, as I, as I, I looked through, I thought that'd be nice if I, if I put that tithe of sky in that, wouldn't it? That'd go well, wouldn't it? What I mean is, this piece here, when I do the painting, drop the horizon a little bit and put that big sky in front of it just there. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Wow. <laughs> so I'll put that with that, and uh, it'll give me a reminder on that, that particular one. So I'll shove that over, out of the way. But I, I know I'm rabbiting on here, but, but uh, do do bear with me. And here's, the, here's the bigger sketchbook, as I said, that this is. That's what we've got here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. This is in the big sketchbook. Uh, here's a, here's a, a similar similar view to that one previously. With a, with a bit of a boat there, a bit of a boat there, the old boat laying there, there's the water round to here. Blakely Church in the distance, and the shadows on this side of these things. Now that, and that other sketch I've got, would, would combine, would make a nice sketch, wouldn't it, you know, between it, yeah? So, so I've kept that reference point there, and see how we go with that one. So I thought, oh, that's good. And... And what I also said to you while I was, we were talking, I said, don't get in the same viewpoint. Look around. And what this picture is, is a sketch. Instead of, there's the church again. But instead of sort of looking across from this direction, from the right, I've come walk further around and found out where the, the estuary comes right this and right and walk, winds his way towards the church. And there's some, there's some shadows on that side of the boat, though, so I know where the light is. And all this is across, across the, the, the marsh and that. And there's some banked area here, and the village is just there. Now that is, is, is all right, but it's a bit, it, the church is a bit central, and it depends which I want to make, make, make my, fame, my, my main point. It could be that boat there, which would which be nice as a main boat. And that would be on the third, wouldn't it? So a lot depends on deciding what, what you want as your main object in the in the painting. But but that that, that would make a nice painting. I could even sort of shove it across a bit, because I've got all the, all this this thing. I can make the horizon a bit a bit lower if you like, like that. And just make that and then make it a bigger sky and do that. But but that's a different viewpoint from the, the, the two I've just shown you on that. That that's what I meant to to, to, to try and show you. And here again, look, let's come over here. There's a, well, that's the one I just showed, isn't it? But that's the that's the other other one there, which is in a different different situation. Right. So that that's given me a reference to to a, a particular painting. That, in fact, what might be an idea is if I, if I sketch that out, and we could make that our next painting, couldn't we? We could do that. I'm I'm, I'm sure you could handle that one. I hope so. Anyway, I hope I can. And uh, even a little tiny sketchbook, like this Frank's sketchbook, he said. Uh, one of my favourite ladies and uh, gentlemen is from Peggy. This is Peggy and Michael at uh, at uh, Sheffield. Little sketchbook, and Peggy's a crafter, and she does all these 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 things on the on the on the book and all this, and you know it's beautiful, all leather bound or whatever they call it, and it was uh, it was lovely. And I'll put a little reference note in the front there. I don't know if you, if you can read it. It's, it says, oh, for enough time to fill it. <laughs> and that was in 97. But I've filled stacks of them since then. But but that, that that's just a nice, nice little thing. And what I've done here is, if you look at that, that that's turning your thirds again. Just even in this little sketch. Because I want that as the main point. All right, you can stretch across the middle, but if it starts about here, so that that that'd be all right. See, and and I, I'll pull that piece of paper. It's, it's out of the book, but it's, it's 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 from there. And these are sort of little thumbnail sketches I've done of, of various things around it. Five there, just to make and see if there's any would make a nice painting. 
I mean, looking at them, I, I, I can't see any that's, that's going to be any, any good. But 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 think, I've don't have go, I've had a go at it, and 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 it's nice to have a go. See what I've got here. Now, when I was in in France teaching in the, I think I was in in in, uh, in Provence, I think it was, staying at this place, and and I, I came across this this sunlit archway. And 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 I think I, I remember this well because this this arch was so nice. I sketched it out, and uh, it was our anniversary, Carol and I's anniversary. And of course, I was in in Provence, and uh, I don't know if Carol went, went with me this time, but but uh, I think she did. But so so I, I, I secretly kept away when the, when we'd done some lessons and that, and I did a little, little painting of this. And folded it over and made it into a card and said happy anniversary. I got ten brownie points for that. I'll tell you. So, so but it's just a little sketch. But you could make a nice little pan- painting for that. Yeah. So it's nice to to keep it as a reference point. It's just it's just little bits and pieces. And that was a chateau something or something. You, you, you sketch all sorts. And then here's where I put notes about things. You know, storm clouds and things like that. And that's, that's when I was, I think was to Graham Parker, the BBC weatherman, came to see it. He gave us a lovely lesson on that. But that's, that's another type of sketchbook. I'll, I'll, I'll put that on one side. Because I want, I have time to show you one or two more before, before we go. Let's see what's in, what's in this one. I don't know what's in it. You see, this is a little, little sort of painting book. And I've used this just for, for a, a quick reference book. This is just a, 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 a few farm buildings which sunlit from this side, see? And uh, and sort of sunlit there, and lovely shadows on this side here. The tree there, sunlit there, dark on there. Even the the sheep are all right there, and a bit of a dark here, but a nice day. So that that's just, just a little. It's a little reference for it. You could make it, make it into a nice painting. Another one, look. It's just a, a, a small building here, which sun was catching it from that side. Dark, dark, and all the darks down here. And the path leading to it. So, uh, I don't want to show you boy over there, anything, but, but it, it, it could be a, a bit of a boat like that. The references could go into it. And there, there's, that's, when I, when I tell you about painting that boat, we're looking from that side, and Blakely is, 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 is up here, up here. So that look, sat about there, sketching that way, with the river down here, or the sea down here. And that is a, a lookout post. And the, the evening sky was like that. I thought, wow, I've got to paint that before I go. So I did a quick quickie, if you like, on, on that. Um, and just, just, it sits in the book now. So it'll not go anywhere or anything like that, but it's, uh, I enjoyed it. That's the main thing. And uh, this is a little village of Hayden, and the, the, the gates into the hall. And it's a beautiful, if you ever go to Hayden, there's a good tea shop there and a lovely pub. And it's a nice little village. It's, 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 there's one way in and one way out. There's no through traffic, so it's it's lovely. They use it for all sorts of filming, like uh, uh, sort of the, the I saw some stagecoaches there and stuff like that. But but that's down by the river, and it's just just it's nothing. It's a nothing sketch, but it's it's it's, it's something. And that was by a swimming pool somewhere, and I, I just I, I can't help, I can't help sketching and painting, so I just did a quickie of that. One of these, I think it's a Spanish place, and there's a, these pots with these lovely geraniums in. And I thought, it, it, it's nice to capture something like that. No, not go anywhere. Something on the back as well. And looking across the, this wide, wide water there, just to capture the, the vastness of that. It's lovely. And this is it, just to, <coughs> excuse me, just to, uh, I captured the, the sky I wanted there. But it was, all of there, the, there's a church, our focal point, taking you into it, the sky above it. Lovely. And, uh, I did, it, it, on one of my earlier paintings on the lessons, it was of Haveringland Church. Now this is Haveringland Church, but from a different view. Now I wouldn't mind painting that again from from this view, as in some in, in one of the future paintings. So keep your eye on that one, folks, because it's it's a lovely lovely building, isn't it? And and I think that this this time it, it, these trees, I might get a bit closer and bring them over. There's one or two more little bits of pieces I want to do on this. So, I've got a nice reference point there. That'll be good, won't it? So, that, that's the sort of thing. Uh, but it didn't have to be anything like that. I can just put it, put it there. 
In fact, if you look at this, I'll just have kept this out for you because uh, I was painting some birds, just seagulls, gulls. I mean, I think they were, I think they were, they were terns or something. But then I got my, got my pencil out and I, I was capturing some some actions of these birds, what they were doing to that. Now, it's, it's, it's nothing, but I could use some of this stuff. And it, it, you can see the shadow on the, on, the, on the wing there, stuff like that. And the way that it, sometimes if there's a drop in something, it, it'll it bend its neck over and pick it up in, in flight. Some of the, the depth of different wingspans and things like that, and the angles, this, and all oh, they, 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 they make nice pictures. Not not as a as a, a a picture itself, but to put into a picture. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and as we talked about pens, pens are lovely. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example of a, a a pen, a pen and wash. It's just on a on a sheet this size, and it's uh, all it is is a is a, an old tree like that, or a winter tree, and uh, a bit of grass there and a thing to it, and a fence and all that. And you, you could you could do anything you wanted with that. You, you could you could make it so sort of put something in the distance, like like a, a church or a, or a, a village or whatever. Open this gate up so you can get in, because that's 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 the trouble with that. This picture is you can't get beyond the gate because it's closed. Never do that. So always have the gate open, and we can get through it then. So take this down, and all this will lead the eye into the picture, won't it? And it's on the third that one, two, three, four. That's the main object, isn't it? And that's 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 just 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 what I mean by by this. You can do it subconsciously with your thirds. Now this is uh, oh, some Thames barges on the River Orwell. Now these are lovely reference points. I don't that one. I'd, I'd, I'd put those two in, into a into an actual painting. Uh, I mean, in, in actual fact, as it happens, as I go on the thirds. There's a third there, there's a third there, there's a third there, and a third there. So that boat is our main focal point. And then all the rest, that will be darker. Well, I said, I'm doing it with pen, so I, don't, I can't get shaded in that. But that will be softer and more muted and going away. And like that, there's like a little village in the distance. That will be muted. And any, any greenery up around there will be muted. And the reflections will be lovely. So that, that could, could make you a, a nice painting. Just, just keep them, you know. I mean, and it, it's all sorts. It's, I must have cut one out there. But like, like that. They're just two, two simple pictures with a, a bit of a silhouette uh, of a house there, a boat with the full sail in front. Just, they're nothing, nothing pictures. They, they're just nothing. Even something cows and things like that. You know? Yeah, cows and a little, a little picture. Wherever I'm going, if I'm sat still. I'll, I'll have a pencil and I'll, I'll have a go at it, whatever it is, because it's it's, it's better than doing nothing. You see, how that, I mean, I know that's that St. Michael's Mount in, in, in Cornwall, off, off Penzance there. It's lovely. I've been up the top of there and it's, it's lovely. That's, that's, that's one of these causeway places. But, but, but lovely stuff, absolutely. In fact, that one, that sketch, it, I've done a painting on one other lesson, I don't know what it is, but it's called Wiccan Skeeth. And we can skip is, is, is that. There's the farm there. There's our, our main tree and all that there on the thirds. And it, the, this, the road takes us into the picture. And I think I drew it, did it through a winter scene. I can't, I can't remember. But but that, that that is the sketch it came from. And that, that sketch was done in 1995. So, so you know, I'm, I'm going back a bit. So that gives you a, a, a rough idea on, on that sort of thing. I'm flicking through these quickly because I'm sure you, you, you must be bored to tears by now. But uh, let's have a look what I've got this one for. I don't know what this is for. There might be nothing in this, but, but the different size books and that. Oh yes, I went to big game hunting <laughs> in the zoo it was. <laughs> like they're sketching a tiger and a, and a lioness. You know, just things like that. And, and, and many years ago, we had a dog called Sally. Uh, Sally, she was a lovely dog, she was, and uh, uh, with, with cruising and all that, we spent a lot of time, it was not fair to have another dog. But this was a, a preliminary sketches for an oil painting I did of Sally, because 
Because when I worked for Windsor Newton for all, all those years as, as, as one of their top top men, I was l lucky. Uh, I had to work in all media mediums. So, so uh, I had a set of everything in my in my garage, and then, then I'd get a call saying, "Frank, you, you you're in somewhere. Or it could be Earl's Court or something like that, or, or, or some some place or some shop or something like that." And they, they want a demonstration in in acrylics. Or they want to demonstrate in, in in oils, or water soluble oils, or gouache, or it could even be pastel. So so I, I've, I've had to do all these things. But dogs, I I it's very I very rarely do a dog at all now because I did loads and loads of dogs in pastels, and and they were they were, they were quite. I enjoyed them at the time, but, but if you're not enjoying them, I stopped, I stopped enjoying them. So what do you do? You stop doing it, don't you? What you do, if you have any sense. Because life's too short to just don't do anything to it. I don't know what's in there. So I put a little piece of paper in, so there must be something in. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. <coughs> yeah. This is a place called... Uh, Erping, Erpingham Church. It's another lovely, lovely Norfolk village church. Well, in, in, in fact, in in Norwich, the town of Norwich, the city of Norwich, I should say, there's more churches than anywhere else in the world, apart from one place in Russia. And it was then, and for every church in Norwich, there's a pub as well. So it's just, it's evenly balanced, all right. And all right across Norfolk. Uh, which was very famous in the in the the, the wool wool area you know, the, in the wool trade. It was it was when wool was top and all that. All the the people that were doing this were, were living in Norfolk, and they had some stunning churches, really stunning. Uh, this isn't one of them, but, but this is one. But the, what I liked about this was the lighting on it. And here again, it's on the third. You see, so that gets my my, my focal point. I keep, I keep banging on about this, but but it it's not if it's in the centre you you lose your plot, and I, I don't want you to do that. But that's that's his. It's just a, a bit, I could turn that into a painting in no time. That'd be no trouble. But I'll just look on, on the top. Of what I've done here is in in I must have been doing a lesson or something because th this one here I've made it. I don't know if you can see it, but I've, I've put the church further back and made the the road go to it like that and it's, it's on my thirds again there like that and I'm going to put a, an evening sky of that with a peach, peachy glow in it and, and do that you know so make that light dark or strong strong there the light and sky colour there into that and to, 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 just, just do that that would make a nice picture and here again we, we, we're looking at the same thing that's that's the the pink, a pink sky, and there's the, the, our main subject there, on the thirds, and going across to that, the river there, and that's that's reflecting in this water here. That's a flood of field. That would look nice. But here again, at, at the time, I must have been banging on about these thirds. Here's the thirds look. There's the church on that one, and there's that the tree on them too there. So you can have more than one focal point. That's the church there, and that can be them two on there. But the main thing is, none of it's in the middle, is it? That, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it doesn't sort of uh, just say, I mean, I've, I've seen, I mean, I've, I've, I've judged competitions and stuff like that, and and I've, I've seen, I've gone round and I've, I've seen somebody who's done a beautiful, beautiful, let's turn that over here. We'll do a beautiful painting, let's say something like this. Might have twiddly bits around here and all this and that, don't they? And then the, 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 in the middle, they've, they've stuck this, this building right in the middle like this. And, and, and the eye has got, got nowhere to go. Yes, it, it, what you can do, it, talking about viewpoints and things like that, I, I, another thing which is, which is quite good for, uh, I'll put them over there, which is quite good for finding out the edge of your paper, as I call it. I don't know if, you, if you've done any photography in the past, but but uh, you'd get these, uh, you get these like, like uh, transparency mounts. Like, and all you've got is, is a mount like that. 
and uh, and of course with a hole in. You take the transparency out and you get a hole. So you can all that that transparency. You can hold it up to your seam, what you want want to do, and either lift it towards you or or, or closer to the subject, and you can move it across or whichever. And put you could put that then across there where it should be. But the, this one I was looking at was the the, the the focal point was right in the middle of the picture there, and it, it just killed it. It did. It, you had nowhere else to look, just at that one point. So I, I just don't want you to, don't fall into don't fall into that trap. I wish I could find that piece of paper, but but uh, if I if I got if I found a blank piece of paper, I'm going through this like right, no, it's a, it's a blank piece of paper. Yeah. I'd give you give you an example. Let's say you 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 you're talking about places where they are. You, you could have a, a couple of uh, say, say a couple of mountain type things like that. Wherever they are, just to, just a guess. You get the horizon, so about here like this, going across, and you could have a, a perhaps I'll put a church in, a church in like this. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not putting any windows in that. It's just just to show you what I mean. This this is a church there, and uh, you might have some some trees across here like this, like that. And perhaps another one, yeah, like that. And and there's there's a road going across across here, across to this this way like that. Now you can immediately see that, that that's taking you out of the picture. These look like three lollipops. That that that's flat. That's flat. That's flat. It's a bit boring. Now if this viewer had taken the trouble of just instead of standing here, moved across to here, and I'd look from that view, you get a different view altogether. If I can find another piece of paper, I'll draw it from that view for you. I don't even remember the paper here. I'll find a piece of paper now. Here we are, here's a piece of paper. Right. So instead of this, what we've got here, I'm going to turn turn my picture around a bit. <coughs> I'll hold to this so I can see what I'm doing. So the viewpoint then would mean that I'm, I'm looking from here, so immediately that tree is bigger than that one, and that one is bigger than that one, isn't it? So I'm, uh, aerial perspective and linear perspective comes into view. So we can say, right, that, that, I'm stood around here, and that, that road is coming around here, like that now, it's, it's just turning either towards the picture. And these trees, I've got a big one here, like that, and I've got another one there, this is number two, that one, I'll put in, here's number two, that's number one, number two, and number three. So I'll put number two in next, but because we have stood, this tree will appear smaller because of perspective, see, that I'm going down towards the, the distance, the horizon line. So the number two tree will be like this. And of course, that's number one, that's number two, and here's number three, which will be smaller than the last one. Now that immediately leads the eye into the picture. That will be paler, this will be a bit stronger, and this will be even stronger than that. The reason being is because this is in front, that's next, and that's next. So it's getting paler as you're going further away. That's called, the aerial perspective is the posh name, but all it means is the stronger the colours here than they are there. Does that make sense? Good. I'm just nod your head, yeah. And uh, and then with th this church now, instead of looking flat onto it, we've, we've got this beautiful church, uh, which is down to here, and, it, and it's and it's here now, near near the trees.
So that these 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 three trees are leading you to the the focal point of the church, if you like, and behind it, have we got these mountains? So we can put the mountains. See, the mountains will move slightly. We can move mountains on this job. It was over there. So I'll look at it. Well, look, see, it's that's in, in front of it. But it move that mountain across there a bit, won't it? That mountain will be here, and the next mountain will be about be about there. So immediately by doing that, we've made this area here. That, that's going across there now. We've made this area of interest just here, which is on that third there. See, so it's all happening. All our stuff here, and the, the, we, can get, we can even shade it darker there because it's the, the lights come from that side and shade that a bit darker. Shade that a bit darker there, and also put some lovely shadows across here. You see. which will get more interesting into your picture. And of course these mountains then will be like that. They'll be darker in the distance and that one there will be darker because it's, we see the, the light around there. Does that make sense? I, I hope so because that, that, that is the same picture as that from there instead of here, and I think uh, I think on, on 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 that note I ought to leave it and say that that's that's enough on composition. But but the main thing is if you go out on site, one thing I don't want to tell you is don't be frightened because you, if you get sat there and you start being timid, don't don't worry about it because it, it's happened to me so many times, and and I. You might sit there, and and really the people behind you just wanted, they would wish that they could do what you're doing, that you're that you're having so much fun. I mean, just the the comedy side of this. I I was sat there painting one day, and uh, I was on my own, and uh, and this this girl about ten came up, and she was <clears throat> stood there just looking over my shoulder and that, and. Uh, and she suddenly said, my uh, my teacher, Mrs. Collins, she's a lot better painter than you. So I said, well, well, probably she's younger than me. She said, yeah, yes, she is, yeah, yeah. And so she was quiet for a bit longer. And then just before she went, she said, you're not bad, though, for an old man. <laughs> I thought it was lovely, you know. I really enjoyed it, stuff like that. But I took a group out on one occasion, and uh, I was doing a demonstration, looking at a view. And I got on my easel and, and uh, all this on and that. And I got the, the, the group, which was about 10 people, all around me. And uh, what happens if, if you like that is uh, people flock to come and see what, what, what they're looking at. And uh, it's, it, it's a bit daunting for the people that's on the course. And plus the fact they think, well, they're paying for it and they, they haven't. So, so what I used to do, I said to Yorkshireman trick this. I used to take a, a flat cap with me and put some coins in near the easel. And do you know, that 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 is, is like a, it just, it clears the board. Nobody comes anywhere near because they think they've got to put something in the cap. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So don't worry about it. Go out there, enjoy yourself. And I look forward to seeing you on, on the next lesson, which uh, I might have a go at but that, that one we've been talking about. You know, that one with the, uh, what was it now? Let's have a quick look, see if I can find it. Yeah, that that one. See, we put some, some like a sky like that in. That'd be nice to sort that out, wouldn't it? And uh, of course, there's there's our. Th I'm talking, banging on about these thirds. There's our thirds again. Don't forget. And, I, and what I should do is put that right and further down. Or well, look, if the sky will be further up actually, and that that'll take that picture down. But uh, watch this space, folks. That might be the next one. Okay, and uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed today. It's uh, it's it's find it a bit a bit boring, but if you have enjoyed it, uh, give us a like and subscribe. And uh, I, I, any questions you've got, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So until then, folks, it's bye bye, bye bye. <laughs>